you were saying to do this and then put this in the wall. Do what? Uh, hang it and put the screw up here. And then, but, yeah. but I'm, I'm a little afraid that that's a lot of weight on one little screw. Well, you could always put an extra screw. Oh, no, I, what I'm saying was... A lot of weight. It's, it weighs, the whole thing weighs about seven pounds. Yeah, but you, this is, this is weighed, rated at three. No, no, you put a bigger screw in there. I'll put a heavier screw. We don't have any heavy screws. I do. I got a good one. Where? It's going to go too far. No, I got a, I got a grip right one here. The, the uh, grip right contractor grade screw. How long uh, of a screw? Oh, we can always put a fatter one in. Hey, everybody, welcome to the uh, What Tools Inside DIY Garage. And aren't you excited to join us today because we have a really, really cool project that I invented. Josh invented it. He invented the game years no, ago. <laughs> no, no, this, is, uh, this has been a collaboration there. Matt and I have uh, put this together here today. We're going we're gonna to completely assemble it for you. We've literally put this together in the past hour. We've been kind of playing around with how to do it. And yeah, we don't, we don't have any plans, but that's just it here. What Tools Inside... We do everything uh, off the cuff. We like no. to do things off the cuff. And we, we like to do things ourselves without uh, manuals and all this other fun stuff. Now, well, he does. I, I, I like manuals. We've all watched Price is Right growing up. And so, and everybody's favorite game is what, Matt? The uh, guy that with the yodeling. Like the cliffhanger is fun. Cliffhanger. Uh, but uh, the favorite game for most people is Plinko. You know, they take the, their big disc there, they, they, they name the prizes, and then they grab their disc, they climb the stairs, and they decide where to put the chip to drop it. And, yep. and it goes all the way and into. Well, we have a rendition of that Robot called. Eight. I don't know if it's a rendition. Rendition is usually like with songs or. Well, it's, no, it's just a different. We have a different take on it. Different take. I would say I think rendition. I'm sticking with it. All right, whatever, whatever. Uh, and, and it's called uh, a Drinko. Drinko. So what it is is every time you have a beer. Well, just not every time. Well, not every time. Yeah. But let's say you're on the so weekend. It's not a drinking game. It's, it's a, not. It's a, it's a drink when you're having a beer. Right. Fine. So uh, it's the weekend, right? You have a honeydew list that everybody knows about. And so, but you also want to relax. So here's, your, here's the, uh, the, the battle that you have with you and your, and your significant other. We found other. A, a, uh, a balancing. A balancing act. And so what we're going to do is we're going to assemble this, this game. And when you open a beer... It will fall down. You get to choose where you want it to go, and it'll fall down the plinko or the. So we'll uh, have it like it'll be set up like this here, and it's going to fall down all this, the, the, the screws and into one of these uh, slots, cups or slots that we're that we're building, and then from there, your wife or your husband or whoever does the uh, uh, the, the work around the house and stuff like that, will put the chore that needs to be done on the honeydew list, and you can switch that up week after week. Whoever whoever is going to be, maybe it's, maybe I'll put it on for. My wife this week, and she'll do it for me next week. Uh, right, and so what happens is you put this here, and you have it uh, uh, trim, um, painting, uh, plumbing. You fix the plumbing issue that you have, but you're also going to have a free slot. Cut the lawn. A cook free a, slot. Cook you, a meal. Is what you're aiming for. A free slot. Is, yeah, exactly. Whatever you want to put on there is what you put on there. So we got lots um, to do here. We're going to get right to making this thing. But you get the idea. This is going to be a little game called the Planko, and um, the Planko. The Planko. So you got to assemble your stuff. Now here's what we haven't decided on. We, we were, we've been toying around with it, and I didn't have my, my sheet up here, but do we want to just do the, the chalkboard paint in here? Yeah. Leaving it this color. Leaving it this color, you understand? Yeah. And then using the wood on there, that color, or do you want me to paint this all? I got this old oops color that we can use. It's blue. I can paint the whole thing blue, then put the black, yeah. and then put that on uh, there. To me personally, I think this would be nicer, but uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a joint effort. But the, but the blue would, it, with the brown would look nice too, because then you got this up here. Let's paint it blue. I'll paint it blue? You already sanded it. You already did all the prep work, so let's go ahead and paint it blue. Okay. And I'm going to build this section of the, uh, uh, of the product, project, right. okay. while you're painting. So you, all right, you start assembling that. I'm going to take up this space here. I'm going to get rid of these things for now. No, I just need to know my lines here, Matt. You know, it's the, the, my, the, the uh, still not quite dry yet. What lines do you need to know? I need to know where first. Uh, oh, your mark. Yeah, I'll just start marks. measuring it, and I'm going to get myself ready to paint. Now, so what I'm doing here is I'm building the bottom part of it. This is the base that's going to catch everything. The door is 15. The only drop sheet we have is about 400 feet long. It's two inches on either side. Yeah? So where's my... Yeah, I know. I don't know... Oh, I forgot. Right. We, we need that. This guy's Can worried you take, about... Take that off for just a second. I just don't want to ruin our table here. I'm going to put a little drop sheet down. Not that I plan on making a real mess, Josh. You understand, but... But you never know. But you never know. So just a little precaution. All right. A little precaution. Now... And we're going to go blue with this, aren't we? 
right, two inches from either side because these are 19 is what we want. Now, one thing I want to do, I want that to be the bottom. It would be great. Now, so you always, whenever you're making something like this, you always put a glue before you screw or a glue before you nail. Uh, it's, it's, it's of vital importance so that you get the really good contact uh, and, and it doesn't, and it, and it just sticks. What's going on now? Oh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use the stack racks so I can paint this. Oh, okay. Um, while he's doing that, I'm gonna do this. So these are gonna I don't be know if you guys eggs. have ever seen these before, but this is called the stack rack. And the stack rack allows you to paint stuff. They're like little saw horses for doors and trim. Whoa. What the are you with? Wateriest gonna... glue I've ever seen. It's a mess. Where's my paper towels in there? Uh, underneath here. One thing to always remember is that we always try to get the wood a little wet. It's still wet from the, uh, from the stain. From the stain. Because the wet kind of opens up the pores. Don't dip it in water, you understand, but just a little bit of a. Ooh, what did you guys dip this in water for? What do you mean? You put you added water to this. I know you did. I didn't. It was a joke. Now in this gun here, I have uh, an inch and a half. Okay, so no missing. And actually, before I do that, it's the first thing you want to do always when you're working with any kind of equipment like this is make sure you have your proper PEPE equipment, either uh, glasses. Uh, gloves or whatever whatever it is that you need at the time. Yeah. Now I'm going to make sure that my line is good. This one had a screw in it. So stack racks are... Uh, oh, go ahead. What do you got there? What are you doing, Jeff? You're screwed it in already, are you? Yep. I'm going to make this a little bit deeper. So it just took me a minute, and now I have an actual platform I can work off of that I can get all sides of my door and everything. See that? Perfect. Ready to go. What I'll do. Right, and then uh, what I want to do is I want to get. Uh, do we have a little speed square, Matt? Uh, we don't have a speed my, square. My but we have for, or 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 ledger. ledger square. There you go, perfect. Because I want to make sure that in here, I'm perfectly square. This is a product that Ledger Square is from uh, Capro Tools. They make a great great little products. And um, I'll go two inches in here as well. And this Ledger actually has a little groove on it, so you can easily. Right. It won't, it won't flop down on you. Nice little tool. I'm using the stinger brush right now. And this stinger brush, let me tell you, it goes right in those grooves on the edges there. Just beautifully. Look at that, Josh. Oh, yeah. No, it, the, nice? the stinger brushes are, are a beautiful product, product for, for any kind of painting. Now, this is nice because um, these kind of, I, I don't know if they're Victorian doors or what the style is exactly. I forget the, the name of that detail. But... Um, I had just, I had already previously um, s uh, sanded this whole door down and got it prepped and ready to go, so it looks good. And we're just going to give it kind of a, a quick paint over like this here. Now this is glued here. I'll go ahead and shoot this guy in too, and then I'm going to check make sure my marks are correct. That's just square here. Perfect. And this is a paint and primer in one. It's not it's just a, it's just a uh, what do you call it? Now, just like that, paint. I have the front done. Now, Matt, before you touch the sides of this, I just want to make sure that my marks are right. Oh. Good wires here. It's always fun to do things your, yourself. You know, make a project out of nothing. So this is an old cabinet door. We're going to turn it into a game called Planko. Um, but we're going to work. We use it with beer caps. So you open your beer up, and you'll be able to put that down or let it fall down the thing to see if uh, what project you have to work on, whether whatever one your wife recently or your husband put in there for you. Right. So what I'm going to need now, Matt, is I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, adjusting. And I wish we did, it, it wasn't wet still. What wasn't wet? The because we, 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 
you know, on one show we can't do it all. We can't stain into everything. So we just explain I just to me this. what your issues are. Maybe I can help you. There's no issue. I need a hammer. Oh, let me help you with that. See, I knew you had an issue. Guy knows. Now, Matt, you might need to do two coats of paint with this guy. Yeah, I am going to. Here you go. Look at this. Okay, it's nice because what's nice about it is it's uh. Is what? Um. There we go. I think that's going to be okay now. Because it was uh, the the door wasn't 15 inches. It was 14 and 7 eighths. A bit bigger. A bit bigger. So I got to move these in just a, a hair. But it's okay because that hair will be fine because it's um. Now anybody else watching this, they're like, "Come on, you can do a better paint job than that." Well, what's happening is it's the the underside is um. It's really showing through on this on this first coat. So what I'm going to do is once I finish doing one quick coat on this, I'm going to speed dry it. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Right. Now I'm going to do that. Put a couple more nails in here. As soon as I know that this is. You know, you take your time to do something. You make a nice little project. And you feel good about it afterwards. A little. Um, you feel, you know, you feel good for the hard work you put into something. Fruits of your labor. This is something you can do on a weekend, Saturday. Now, this will be a fasten to the door as well, uh, when it comes time. That end. Give the door that width. Uh, I don't know, but... And now we've got to do these. So these are the little dividers that go in here. Um, i got to mark where they got to go because... All we all they need to be is just wide enough for the bottle cap to slip into. Just like so. Right? And then uh what is that? Do we have a bottle cap here? Yeah. So this is uh this is, it's just a heat gun. And I'm I'm just and just a little bit of heat like that is gonna dry this up a lot faster. Normally you'd wait, take your time. But I'm just doing just to kind of speed the process along a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cup. How's your thing coming, Josh? Coming along nice. Here Talk me through it. Um, whoops. Because there's nothing more boring than watching paint dry. Now, <laughs> so what this is, is this is the, 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 the catch. This is what's going to catch the... Oh, no, see, now i got to be up more. I can't be on the back like that. See, now this is where uh, planning comes in. Dry this corner as best you can for me over here. I need that all dry because I got to figure out how, what the depth of the door is because the depth of the door is where my line has to be. You understand what I mean? Yeah, I know. I get it. So this all has to be back like this. Why don't you just use a, a, a scrap piece that we had over there, like that piece over there on the wall? Well, no, it's good. Is that the width of the door? I think it's pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, almost exact. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do this here now. What I would like to do is maybe cut this, man. I'll cut that on the saw. And I can slide that right in between. Yeah, give that a little buzz. Can you step over there? Yeah. That's it. Now hold, watch your ears, Matt. No, that didn't take long, did it? Yes, yeah, sir. Now, I put this in. This is to mimic the door. And now I put my pieces. I arrange my pieces as needed. And you got them all me measured out exactly? Hmm? So how did you measure it out? Show the full I haven't measured it out yet. And so that's oh, what, okay. I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is decide exactly the distance uh, that these need to be. Because what we need them to do is, is, is and all they have to do is catch the uh, bottle caps. Right? So all they have to be is a little bit thicker, a little bit wider than a bottle cap. Yeah, because you'd hate to go through all this and then the bottle cap... Uh, Door doesn't fit. Doesn't fit, yeah. But we have plenty of room. We just have to make sure that it looks. Um, matter of fact. So this is already drying to the touch. Um, just, it just, uh, just to kind of speed things along a little bit. I mean, otherwise, normally you just let it sit and then give it another sanding and give her another coat of paint, you know. But now let's see here, Matt. This is. Uh, Let's say 15 for easy figuring. I know it's a little, it's a little less than that. Now, if I were to divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 15 divided by 6. 15 divided by 6 is 
tree. I don't believe you. I've never trusted your math. I think it is. Use your calculator. Here's my phone. Let me get let me get a calculator. I don't know if it's worth it. And to me, I don't think it's worth it, him doing the actual calculation. He's watching the show. So uh, this was a <clears throat> an actual uh, just an old cabinet door. We are um, painting it. Painting it. We're gonna put a little strip on here. We're making a planko board for beer caps. Right. Josh is making the bottom part where the plankos are gonna catch into it, and I'm preparing this uh, top part here. Now we. Uh, you were close, Matt. It was, was two point five. Two point five. These um <clears throat> these are the bottle openers. We actually got these right here on uh, on Amazon. You can uh, get them in t in packs of like twelve. We got a whole bunch of them uh, for really cheap. And they're like a cast steel. Um, and and uh, they got nice little, you know, they look kind of uh, like they're all kind of rusty looking. It's just a look. Uh, and, it, and it's got a, an open here sign on it. It's kind of cool. Two and a half. Five. So this is for the most part seven and a half. pretty dry. And um, it's just going to cool. This is just going to cool down now. And then it'll shut off. I'll let that do its job. And I'm going to be done with this part of the paint. Oh, All right. What I'm going to do instead is work on doing the chalkboard paint. So we have. And now, now I think you need to do the coat here. Well, if we do another coat, you understand it's going to take 15 minutes. Dry it up. Well, you want it to look good. I was going to do like a a, a, a distressed look on it. <laughs> All right. Right. What do you want? If I take, I can take the time. The show's going to be longer. Is all I'm saying. Always take the time. Okay. Okay. You heard him, guys. That's what we're going to do. So you're going to be uh, stick around for a while because we got now, more. Now to all go. you have to do is just don't paint this here. Don't paint any of this. Because this all this is this is all be. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I get. You. I got you, bud. I understand. All right, now look, Matt. Here. You said it wasn't worth it, but I didn't believe you. There you go. That gives me one, two, three, four. I kind of wanted more of a distressed look, but now Josh talked me out of it. This is going to be nice. Just light coat now, you understand? Yeah, yeah I got it. I got Not you. so heavy. Now, so many chiefs. Oh, yeah. There's too, there's too many chiefs in the kitchen. Is that the saying? Cooks. Cooks in the kitchen. Now, Matt, we needed one more of these, and then we would have been okay. So my math is wrong, bud. No, that's why I said don't do the math. No, there's always math. Your math is is grade ten. Now what I have to do, I divide it by. I divided it by by what? Fifteen divided by. There, that gave it a little. Well, a second code on there. Two point one four. So, so that's two and a quarter. And I think that's still still plenty wide for the. Uh, all right, so so. Again, this is the Stinger brush. <clears throat> the Stinger brush has uh, very uh, has lighter filaments here, and then on the tip, I see how it kind of goes up. These are uh, a, a little bit of a stiffer filament, so you can get right in and cut a clean line. It allows you to have more control um, uh, on the uh, of the brush and on your on your finish. That looks good. Yeah. Now let me heat that up. Let me dry that one out. What are you? Oh, what are you doing? Moving things over still. This way here, we don't need so many. Oh, you're yeah. just doing four, not five? No, I am doing five, but I don't need the ends. See, look. If I do this, right. I still have the same amount of holes. I just don't have the ones on the ends. Right. So I believe that that should work. But it's just not going to be lined up exactly right. But that's okay. Well, no, it will be because look. It's, it's 10 inches. Right. And you've, and you've arranged for our plastic to sit on there properly? It's 10 inches. And uh, our plastic sheet's going to fit there across those? Oh, no. Now it won't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, no, because you're using this as a space now. What do you mean? Well, it would have never. It would have never. It was, yeah, the, when those ones were here, these were these were when these ones were here, they were it was sitting on, on right. the end. They don't go like that. They go like this. Right. I was just using them. That was my middle point. Were you? So, 
So okay, so you're saying you just want to go by the eye. No, I'm saying you need to have the uh, that space for that. Shoot from the hip, he says. Because that's otherwise it won't fit. Well, that's all right. I want you to be happy. You can put it on here now. This is dry enough for you to work off of. Let me just get this here. It's all going to be black anyway. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just drying it, bud. You, but this is dry to the touch. You can you can kind of work around that now. All right. So here's your. Uh, that's your space. That's here's your space. And I want them to see what this looks like. Now can we stand this up? Or is it still so bad? Yeah, I know you're excited, but just give it a second. <laughs> okay, so uh, queso dip. I think it'll be easier to, to 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 put this right on. We'll we'll glue it. And then I think I, I would agree with you. And on then that we'll one. then we'll put the pieces on like that. That's it. Now we're all making sense. Now this here. is what it's all about. The DIY part of it is figuring, figuring it out when you don't have instructions. You want to go ahead and put my paint away? That's all done. Let me help you out. Yeah, and this will be almost dry here in just a second. What's really nice about this is normally you have to wait quite a while before you can get access to this and start working it, right? Well, the paint still will be touched off. We're going to have to try and be as careful as we can, but yeah. hey, you know what I mean? We're not going to sit here and wait for two hours for yeah. the paint to dry. So the next thing is the chalkboard paint, which we're going to put here. I need to put a piece of straight edge or a paint a tape right here to keep it. Well, what we, you know what we can use is the bucket edge. No, it's just too narrow. The, the, the smallest one? Yeah, I think so. You can try it. Let me just see here. There's this new product that we're going to be featuring very shortly. Uh, there's a smaller one than that. It's, a, it's on there. It's, no, that's all. It's small. You got to look down below. Like this. This, the isn't, this isn't the smallest. Yes. No, this is the smallest. Here it is. The bucket edge is a really cool tool that we're excited to talk about. It's going to really help you with your edging. Does it fit in there? Not quite. Not quite, eh? But it gives you a line. Yeah. It won't fit in there for what we need. What about this here? What about a, an extra piece of this? No, that's uh, too big. Though I could cut tape. it. Tape. Just a piece. Of, don't we have any tape? Yeah, we may. Give some me some tape. Some green tape. Yeah, have a look around. Do me some tape somewhere. If not, I'll have to do a nice straight edge with my Stinger brush. I'll need you to bring me over a new one. I don't trust you. All right. Now, that's cooling off. It'll be dry in a second. This we can take off of this here now. You need to take that, put that down there. You want this running or no? Um, no, it's, oh, it is. It's it's cooling down. Oh, oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I might have turned it back on then. No, it's okay. Did I? Yeah, that's good. Could always just unplug it. There, oh, there you off. go. Why not? That's the nice thing with the heat guns is once you put it down, it 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 cools itself off. All right. So now we what need to I, work off of something here. Yeah, like a be. piece of uh, ply here. Let's do this. A couple of these. I mean, in your garage, you always have a couple of different things that really... Yeah, kicking around. Yeah, kicking around. All right, so... This goes in here like that, Matt. Like this. Do we kind of turn our table so that they can, so we they can, can work off of it? it? Yeah, like, let's do this. Watch this here. Why don't we do this? And, now, this you is know, why our, this our um, stage designer is going to be upset with us here in a minute for doing this, but I think... But this is why we get paid the big bucks, Matt. It's a, you're thinking on the, on the job. Make these kinds of decisions here. So yeah. I think we're good with that. Yeah, then they can see what it is we're doing, exactly. Right. Now, personally, I would put a couple of screws in here. Yeah. If you're well, we can, let's, we can pin it. Yeah, and then put a couple of screws. And then put a couple of screws. I'd like to maybe a pilot hole. Um, should we, do, you, do you think we need glue there? I guess not if we're... No, because we want to be able to pull it apart. No, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's put some glue. See? Compromise. A little bit of compromise on everything. Try and get some of this uh, glue to thicken up a bit here. <clears throat> Tape bond. Very watery, so you have to. Be shy, get yourself. Don't be, you know, be afraid to get a little something on your, your fingers, you know? Yeah. Good. Now, put that on there. Then. Glasses. Cover your eyes. Hold this up over here because I gotta put some, some weight into it. Come on. Okay. Who wanted the back there, Josh? Down down there, yeah. We need a bigger shop table, I think. Yeah, my eyes slippery. Okay, let me see it. 
Is that the question? Okay. All right, now, now we can put some pilot holes in here and cinch it down a bit because you're going to be handling this. You're going to be moving it around. Um, yeah, you, you just want to make sure that it's so I got a little going to hold on. Yeah, this is the uh, Bosch bit kit. I love this kit because it's just the, the bits slide in and pop out real, really, oh, really easily. Oh, they're beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Here. Josh, you're doing all these here, right? You'll, you can go ahead with those. I'll set that up. And you can start working on those. Let's see. So these guys, these are our dividers that go in here. Let me just get the thumbs up from our director if we're okay with this. Uh, this is good the way, the way we're positioned? Okay, so we're good like this. I want to make sure that we're not. We're not. Uh, there, was, he, there was nobody over there. He was just talking. Yeah. Got a little screw in there. Okay, now, um, now what I want to do is I want to make sure that these are divided properly. Just a fairest amount of space. His brain is just... It's not going to hold a lot of... Uh, it's an odd number, and that's why it's kind of strange. Um, again, like... Uh, what, it's not fitting? Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, so here's what I did for this. So we can this move it over this a goes bit. all the way over to here. I think we may. Right, right on the edge, like that. How does it help me see yours? Let me see your uh, plastic. Get that first. Okay, so move your plastic over. It goes right, right so that'll have to go over a little bit more. This goes to the edge like that. Like and that, that, like and that. And the outside like that. They can both come in a bit. There you go. All right, now I have my two outside. I'll, yeah, I'll so make it. Uh, make those stay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pencil mark in the center. Why don't you put them in? Well, because then I want to. I just have to make sure that the uh, the other ones will fit so in that, which they should. I just want to make sure that they're all. Yeah, they'll fit in there. All right. I can get a pair of a set of glasses so that I can shoot with the gun too and not feel bad. Sure. Okay, so that's that's where we want it. Um, put a little bit of glue on these guys. You know, now marking wasn't such a bad idea, man. Yeah, it was a good idea. After all, where's the uh, the gun? Right here. There you go. Right. You're just going to put the one, you think? That's all we need, yeah, because it's glued. One nail. You're not holding anything up. you got to really yeah, hold, I gotta, it I gotta hold it tight. Yeah, i got to hold it tight. Okay. Pull that one. Push that in. You have to pull that out. What a mess here. Couldn't yeah. have just hammered it in. Well, we got the tools for it, Matt. Here, don't you worry about that. Yeah, that's those are. Why don't you use these ones here, Josh? These are right in the, in the carousel form. This is the uh, the Cobras from uh, Knipex. They work fantastic for situations like this. Okay. Be, well, let, uh, let me pry that off before. Uh, you gonna pry it off? Yeah, because I don't want to bend it. I don't want to mar the uh, the wood. All right, let me see what I got for you in here, Josh. For that, nothing. Uh, that knife will do. No, but here, what I do have is over here in this drawer. That'll help you. Like a screwdriver. All right. And look at this. It uh, pulled it out for me. I want to show you guys an absolutely beautiful screw. That if you ever want to buy, you'll never go back to anything else. This is, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But this is uh, from Griprate. These screws are from Griprate. And let me tell you something. They cut, the, they don't even need a pilot hole. They cut and make, they cut their own pilot hole in. And they got these little barbs on the tip of it here that, that countersink. It's such a nice screw. And they're, they're a contractor screw. Now let's try this again here, man. A little bit better. He, you, I want you. Um, let's mark them all. I think it's the angle that I can get at it. Maybe. Might be a bit of a. Oh, I'm left-handed. I'm right-handed. So I'm left-handed. Left all right. So. Um, uh, okay. Blue. So let's let's mark these ones here so that we can. Uh, how many do you want? You got five. Uh, you got one more missing, right here. Oh yeah. There you go. Let's find it this way. 
Any more bottle cap and go in there? Mm, yeah. Because it just has to have enough room to play a little bit. You want it to be tight because, I'll tell you why. If you want it, you, you don't want just three in there. You're thinking, well, why are you guys jamming so many in? Because the whole fun of it is, options. you just don't know what it's going to land in. And so you have some options um, of where it's going to, of where it's going to land. I think that's good. I think you can mark that if you're happy with that. And then uh, we'll glue and nail each one. I think, I think that's pretty good. And then we'll get to the next, uh, the next stage of this, guys. Table, just a mess here. I think people, most people's shops, this is what happens, Daryl. It just gets one, too many, so many things. One, uh, one, uh, one thing after another, and it's, uh, before you know it, you got a real mess. A mess on your hands. All right. All right, so let's screw the rest of this in here, man. Let me have the uh, that drill bit thing. Um, yeah, you can pile hold that one. Can you get it? Why isn't this working? Why isn't this coming out? What am I doing wrong? Oh, I have to push it down. Yeah. Normally, you lift these, but this is a chameleon, so this is a... A little different. A little bit different. Remember, this is, uh, so we're what tools inside of Matt. This is Josh. And we are, um, those two will put that right in nice, Josh. <laughs> we're what tools inside, and we're doing a little project here called, uh, it's a Plinko game made out of, for, ball, uh, for, beer, for beer caps. Go ahead. Okay, and then lots of power because, and it, and it sucks it up nice and tight, that glue should. Yeah. should uh, so that is, Firm. Now let's get all these pieces in. You want um, to put a, 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 some on the bottom or no? Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Okay. I guess we could. I all don't right. even know if you uh, really need. To. I don't think we need it, Josh. I honestly don't. It's been glued. All right. It's been screwed on both sides. It's hanging there. It's. We it got to shoot these guys in, and then we can move on to the to the to the next part. To of the it. next piece. All right. Well, let's do these. Okay, let's these mark all, them. They're all marked. I'll glue. I'll give you, you some glue. glue. You glue them. I'll shoot them. Let me get my. Uh, Safety goggles. Safety goggles. This is the Ryobi uh, nail gun, airstrike. This is an old one, but such, it's been it's been real handy ever since. One of the first ones I ever came out with. All right. We'll put another one in this one because it's a little bit. Remember, these are glued, so they're all going to get hard there. Uh. Okay. What you can do with that one is give it a little knock. There you go. Okay, that one needs to be a little bit. That one's really stubborn. That's all right. I think it's going to be okay because we're going to put that. Uh... All right. It's not doing. It's not holding anything. You know what I mean? Like we're uh... just like that. There's your uh... plexiglass. Now we we made this plexiglass a little oversized because it's going to hit this lip and want to bounce. So we yeah. Um, so we designed it so that let's put our little screw holes in it. Yeah. You have your little bit there. This is the Bosch Chameleon. They change all the heads change on interchangeable heads for it, which we got a whole bunch there. Hey, Josh, show them the little heads that we can change for it. Oh yeah, I mean you got your SDF bit head, you've got your 90 degree head, your offset head, and then your regular uh, uh, chuck. Uh, but and then that's your impact. And then since you've got yeah, and you got it like this, you don't even need to have any bit on it for for something like this, right? And what's nice about doing the way he's got you. you you have a lot more room to play. Now, do you just want one? Yeah, just I think we're gonna, oh, let's um, move this over a bit here. Yeah, move that over so it's not bouncing around. Even there? Even Stevens? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to split the difference a little bit. There you go. Okay, come my way. Just, uh, there we go. And I think, yeah, there's one in there in the middle. We'll have to put two to balance it. That should look good. All right, and we'll change this bits over. I'm going to take this plastic off here. Everything that you need to, to do this is either scraps you have at home or things you can get right here on Amazon. You can have it or, order it now. You'll have it ready for the... Ready okay. for the... Let me get a, a drill here too, Matt. Do we have another uh, little drill? Might. 
Yeah, you don't want to go too tight on this stuff because it, it, it will crack. This is going to be a really nice piece. Okay. Put two in the center here just to kind of make it look aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. So let's show them that. This is what this looks like now. So, so far, those are going to hold. When those fall in, they'll fall in like that. And they're going to hold each of the different. Uh, now, these we can maybe, maybe we can take them out later and. and, we tighten and them. Ah, they're fine. I wouldn't tighten them down even. But that no, looks great. Yeah, that's the idea there. Okay, so now what we have to do, we're going to do it like this because I think you guys can see it better, you know, instead of us yeah. doing it sideways. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, now, so now what we you have to do... make your little marks uh, for the screws. For the screws. Okay, you want to do that next? All right. It's really quite simple. I'm going to use the what? ledger square. What's nice about the ledger square is look at this. You're going to square something. Normally, you, you put it on a square that wants to fall like that. Your square wants to fall. This has a little little ledge thing that it sits on keeps it nice and tight don't need it for this particular purpose but i just want to show you that's the purpose of this square right so here we've got to figure out where we want this to go josh what are we doing yeah so i think what we're going to do because we don't have the complete room let's just center it and then we'll use the other one to screw into the wall and it'll hold the whole thing so you think what about like this that's where we want it i think so yep yep i think that's okay so then let's go here i'll let's put around this other eh? so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Now put, Matt, if you can, put a, um, a mark here at seven and, uh, and, and, uh, three eighths? No, a little bit. Half? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Not, not half. There you go. That's it. Okay. I believe that's your half mark there. All right. So. I did it like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is you got to go down and mark at the opposites. Exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. So I want to go now. The next ones I want to go will be two. Uh, will be will be one. But I got to do it the opposite side. So depending on how far I want to go down. So if I would just to go down like this, right? We just go that much of a space. Is that, is that, yeah. Right. Now I'll go three. Five, seven. Now, that, so that'll that'll pass through nicely. It'll bounce off one yeah. of these. And now, do we have to put any in the ends? I think we might have to put some on the ends. I don't eventually. think you should need to, but let's try it. Let's put these in and see what we look. What these look okay. like. Okay. All, All right. right. Yep. Trial and error here. Let's not. Uh, here we got. I can't really see. I can't see real good. I think we might need to uh, pilot hole these. We have to go, oh, do you think so? I think so, because... Uh, make it a little cleaner looking? Yeah, it'll just make it a little bit cleaner. You see where that is, right? So, what we did was we spa we're spacing them out two, four, six, eight. And then we're going back in, we're doing three, five, seven. This is how, this is why this should look pretty good here. Yeah, good call, Josh. It looks a little better. I just want to pull up so much. You know, it's we'll have to adjust them just so they're all exactly the so same So speaking height. of that, well, we can do that as we go with the, with the, uh, with your uh, uh, level. Yeah, yeah, let's put this down. So, yeah. it's just this one here. Put it, put it back down there. I think I'm going to raise this one up just a hair. Okay, and then this one here a little bit. Otherwise, I think that's pretty good. So look. Yeah, I think that's this good. one has to go up a bit more too, eh? No, yeah. that one's good. The, the one, this one can come up a little bit. Just a just crack this one here. Just well, you were touching it right here. You see that? So. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you want it. So that one needs to come up. Yeah. 
I, I don't think it's that critical, but no, I don't think so either. But I mean, that's. Uh, oh, are you gonna pilot hold my next, my next ones? Yep. Yeah, here, it looks like you said it's hard to see, but do you see how it's a little bit of a witchcraft? Yeah. Oh, didn't know that, but your pilot hole works so well. It just goes in the... I think that's the key to any kind of uh, real good carpentry is pilot hole and prepping your the before you just... Yeah. Now, you can put one maybe on the side if you want. And we can put one, like, over here. I just think that because if you put your... If you put one here, it's just going to fall all the way. Well, your next one's going to be here, you see. Right, the next one's going to be right here. Yeah. So I think that we have to put one on the ends. This one's going to be right here like this, too. Right, so there's, there's, right. So what I'm saying is, I think we should put one on the ends uh, of these on the guys. Ends of, those? Uh, of these three ones. So there's four here and there's five on these ones. Right, like this. Yeah, so like right in between, so right here and right there, yeah. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, so, so that it, if, if you so put then it here, then, then we want, just, right, okay. So then we want the that time. to be... Put it right at one? At one, yeah. At one and that's in at uh, at uh, six or nine. One and nine. Yeah. And then that gives you your All right, let's put them in. Now the only yeah, and, and it's close enough that it shouldn't it won't stop here. It should it should roll down to the I mean we can move it over a bit, but I, I don't know. This one certainly won't get caught. I am all for it, bud. Let's do this. We want the uh Anyone over here? And then we'll mark these out and you can do all the holes. Yeah, now we'll see. We'll see what that'll look like there then. Which yeah, is perfect we'll because on. then you got your, your spacers. That should work great. And it yeah. should be perfect. Okay. And we're going to come down to about there. So I'm going to mark a whole bunch more. I'll try and mark them a little bit sharper here, so you can clearly see it. And I'll go ahead and pilot hole, and then we can we can do the paint while you're while I'm pilot holing all of them. Yeah, we can we can paint too. And then this guy here, I got to get. Uh, you said that we had a big screw for this, eh? The, oh yeah, the grip right. Yeah, these these construction screws are fantastic. I think you put one in the wrong hole here, but that's okay. What do you mean? It'll work. You? No, that's no. That won't be good. You got to put it like this. Inside right, like so that. No, it's a problem. Eight. Eight. As long as your 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 thing was on that edge. Yeah, it was. It seems like a little to their little bit. To yeah, and bit, they're, they're like in line with this one now. Right. So what I'm saying is, yeah. So do it like that. Oh well, no, because now it flips it just the opposite direction. Too many chiefs. Too many cooks in the kitchen. This is what you end up with. Okay, but do it like this, and, and then, it doesn't right. matter, man. Look, do it like this. No, it has to be like the one, it has to be exactly the same pattern as the one above it. Right. Right, or else we end up with a problem. Right. <clears throat> so this one here has to be. We won't there. have that issue with the, with the next ones, because the, we won't put the screws in until we're all done. This is two. Yeah, but two right here. Four. I can't see with your head. Big Three, giant head in the way. Six. Yeah. Six, eight. Okay. All right. And then you flip this this way. You got to just do it like this. Do it again on the edge. And you and do now is it one, one, three, five, three, five, seven, yep. nine. See, what are you doing? I got to put this guy in here, man. He oh, We're like Bob Ross now. Why? Let's do a happy little hole right over here. I think that is probably good there. Don't we have a sharpie? I can hardly see this. I can see them. Can you? Yeah. You got nice sharp eyes, you understand? So why don't you tell them what we're making here, Doc? So what we're doing here is, uh, it's, it's going to save a lot of fights, is what it's going to do. So when you're on your weekend and you want to just relax and have a, binge, have a drink or whatever, but your wife has a honey-do list for you, okay, well, let's go to the board and, and see what I have to do. Regardless, you get a beer. 
right? So you get to pop open a beer, and then you see what project you have to start um, for the day. And so then you finish that project, and you wipe it down. But we also have a free slot that's in the middle. So you get a free beer or a free hour break or whatever it is that you charge for your services. You charge. All right, so now I'm, now I'm going to put the bottle cap opener in here, Matt. Are you doing, oops. Are you doing that? There's my, there's my mark here. Right. Now, again, here's my other concern with this. Yes. When you go to open this, and this is only fastened into a wall with an anchor, you really need this. I think you're better off even putting this over here. Uh, I don't think you need to do that. I'll use this many right now, and then we can see how many we, more we need. How many we got to go with the, with the plastic glass? Plexiglass. <coughs> Going down in here, right? Eh? Yeah. Okay. A couple more to go two, here. Two more, and then, and then you're good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually going to be good because there's a lot of uh, options for this to go down. Right. It should be really quite... Last one, one Interesting. One. Ding, 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 ding. All right, as you go. Because you want that action, you know. You, you never know where it's going to end up. Yeah. And this one is one. Three. Five. Nine. Nice. And I got one more. The last one. Don't Hold we on. have enough screws for this? That would be funny. We probably don't. I've got some more. It's going to be close. I'll figure out what we'll figure out what we got to do. All right, so now we'll adapt. Gonna... Now, Matt, do you understand what I'm saying with the bottle cap thing? Yeah, I, if it's here and it's in the wall, which is it, it's holding the whole thing, when we go to pop a beer, it's going to want to uh, come off the wall. Well, you're not really reefing on a beer cap by that, but well, I, I think it's nicer. I'm mean, going to put one on each side if we want. That's true. You could do that. And it, and it kind of looks it out. But usually the idea is that you pop it open and it just falls off your beer and into the thing, right? So Josh is going to pilot hole all these now so that we have a, a nice clean, uh, when, the, when, when we put the screws in, it's not ripping up all the wood and the paint and stuff. It's all fresh paint. We just did this moments ago. Let's see here. This is, nice, this nice, is nice. the center. You see how you're, you're off here. This is, this one's good. This one's good, yeah. Yeah, it must be this one. Yeah, I think it's this mark here. Hey, let me just double check. I believe it's this mark. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. Move down the bench. Down the bench. Actually, while you're doing that, I'm going to paint this little area here. And give you these. So when you're done, put those on. I can start with the screws. I'm going to get this thing ready. Okay. I'm going to get this ready over here for the... So let me do this here so you can paint down here then. Yeah. Brush. <clears throat> so I got this chalk paint, chalkboard paint. I don't know if you've ever had, if you've ever used this before, but it's great stuff. Um, we use it all the time. We did some planters outside and we put a little chalkboard section. Yeah. So you can change it to today, you know, this week or this month we're growing tomatoes here or whatever it is. Um, people use this to paint their whole fridge or sections of their wall for the chalkboard. Especially so now that you're, you're teaching your kids at home, a lot of you, you have a whole, a whole set. Just grab a piece of plywood, paint it with this, and you have a chalkboard to work, work with. Speaking of uh, teaching kids at school, Matt, one of these days, uh, coming up, we are going to be building a desk um, that you can get here on Amazon. It's a little school's desk, little school desk for your kids if you're if you're uh, teaching them at home. Yeah. This is actually a blue chalkboard paint. And there you go. There's your pilot holes. Now I don't have a. Let me have this here just for a second. Hold on. We want to do this good. I think so. Yeah. Yourself a room. The scrubs are coming very handy today, hasn't it? It has. We Wonderful. don't have any any tape, huh? We, we haven't been able to find any tape anywhere. And I want you to be uh, just you know take your time. All right, here we go. This is going to be 
Testing. All right, while you're doing that, Matt, I'm going to put some of these screws in. Okay. Right. I, was, I was hoping I was getting it was the last Hail Mary for some tape, but... Oh, hold on. Yeah. The guy's worried about tape. Let me look. No, no. Here we go. I have faith in your skills with the Stinger brush. It's a very um, narrow opening here. Oh, I just got the tape on our, our paint on our... Uh, on the board here, on the... Uh, Classic. You look at that and you're like, this guy's got skills, man. Mad skills. Mad painting skill. Now, you, you want to go thick with this chalkboard paint, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what would have been good is if we actually had a... Look at that. That's nice. Without that tip on here, I would never have been able to get in that close. No, it does make a huge difference. What I'm going to do, Matt, is I'm going to try and get that little... Right. Now I'm probably going to need to do a... Uh, second... Uh, oh. And test your paint. Because you got to go across that anyway. I think I'm a little bit deep with this guy here, but where are these ants coming from, Matt? Yeah, well, so we'll, we'll end up having to do a little bit of a second coat on here, guys. But this is just a chalkboard paint. Very simple. It's, almost, it's like a self-leveling stuff. It lays out flat. Very nice. This is my first coat of that. I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. Oh, that's a good idea. It doesn't have like a high speed on this on this thing, but uh, now you get the idea how this works. How's that coming, Josh? Good. I think we're going to be very really close with the screws, but and not that I'll adjust all these as we go a bit, maybe. But I think I might be going too deep with them. Right. Uh, that's actually working really good to dry this up. Look at that. We're almost completely dry already. Take long at all. Yeah. This is coming along, man, and I think that the addition of the ones on the ends was a good idea. I think so too. I think so too. No, I'll, there's I'll no uh Alright. Now you have your little spacers there for the. Uh, this is going to need to dry, like cure, because otherwise I think I think if we put too many too too many coats on at once, it's going to end up buckling. Right. right. So let's just wait. Uh, we'll put this. Uh, we'll put this plexiglass on, and then we'll do another coat. Let me just get this part here. Okay. I'm almost there. Now again. For those who are just joining, what we're building is a, is a little Plinko game that uh, is going to help you with chores around the house, but also in, uh, get to have a little bit of relaxation too. You get to have your little beer or soda or whatever it is that you drink, maybe root beer from the bottle. Um, and yeah. your, your, your spouse can be, have themselves heard by you taking care of the honey-do list as you go. Yeah, it's like you got it all figured out for everybody. All right, put this down here. I'm noticing uh, when you're doing this at home, put some pressure down. That pressure will help it from lifting that press board from lifting up at all. Um, on your screws, you mean? On the screws. All right. This is really coming together nicely, guys. Taking us some time here, Josh. But yeah, but I mean, it's it's one of those things that. Uh, now what we've done for this next part is trying to keep things a little a little organized around here. I'm a bit of a need freak. Hey Josh. Now look at this. I told you it was gonna be close, right? 
the exact amount. Exact amount we which need. Which is a problem because we have uh, the top to do. We need four for the top. Right. Well, I'll get four different screws for the top. You have little four little silver. I'll find them. You put those in. That'll be nice. It'll look good. I got some screws in here somewhere. This is what um, having these. Having so these, so uh, here you go. Let me show you what we have so far. Okay. So so far you have your all of these plinko things that will go ding 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 all the way down. Um, right. That'll work. Terrible. You know, we need the, uh, we all still right, need so the, the front okay, on it. Okay, so here's what, it, turn that around the other way so they can still see what we're doing while we're working. Mm. I got you your four screws here. Okay. Okay, you got the four screws. Now let's put us some. So here's, everybody's got one of these drawers in their, in their garage, and if you don't, I suggest you do. I have two. Right. Now, right here, what we've done is for for these, we, we need to lift this plexiglass off, off uh, off a little bit higher than the, than the than the door panel, to give us some some height for the, the the caps can clear as they go down. Right. Right. So in order to do that, we just took these um, wall plugs and just cut an even amount of plastic. Just these little wall plug things like this. We just cut an even amount of plastic off of each one as a spacer. That should be pretty. pretty All right. So, pretty, can you give me my mark here so I can me measure where those three? Yeah, have to I go? won't know exactly until you put this on where you want this. Right. So that's about where you want it. You got to come in a bit more though. Right. I'm just wondering for our marks so that we. Uh, I guess we can actually line them up with the screws. Yeah. Right? It's probably an even. At the top, maybe in from the bottom a bit like that. Well, you're gonna want the top one. You want the maybe top? in that line. Yeah. Okay. Right, because you're gonna go yeah higher. That makes sense to you, right there. It does. Okay. okay. Now, I think that's, that should be pretty good. Let's let's make our little marks on those so that we can pilot hold those, or you hold them there and I'll pilot hold it. Yeah, I think what we need to do here. Quite even. I can see from here that it's just not quite even. Oh, With the screw. Yeah, this is good. Or what's our height going to be? You got enough room to put a bottle cap flat in there. Yeah, I, would, I mean, let's see, move it's that. It's supposed to go down to the... To the right, move those, uh, this, this, this glass for a second. It's really to hold it from flopping out. Because as long as it's, like, that's going to be okay. Right. So, I think you're okay. You know what I mean? It's just to stop it from shooting out forward. Right. Uh, and there's not enough room if we put it just flat on here. Do we, do we need the spacers? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Like, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Is uh, you don't need the spacers because yeah, I don't even think you need the spacers. No. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's better. even better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's even better. Okay, good. All right, now we're getting to places. Just winning yeah. everywhere we go. Now that means that these screws are going to be too long. I just want to cut them off at the back. No. Uh, yeah, actually we can. We have the pliers for it. Just snip them. Yeah, unless you know I mean, have, unless they have short. Well, they're barely going to go through. If they do. Yeah, okay, that was too easy, so. All right, so let's put them in place. So I'm gonna take off one of the covers here. Yeah, we need our pilot hole. I'm gonna go with a bit of a bigger of a hole for this one. Yeah, and then again, do try if I were you, I'd pilot hole um, in line with the screw hole. So that that's your mark, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just put this where you want it. You want it to be like there, you, or do you yeah, want it to be higher? Enough so that no, like. So go down under this line, where this line starts. That. Oh, it's got to be past right, that plastic. Right. I'm just thinking like a little bit higher. Like this, this, right has got, this one's got to go down. Slightly. That's it. No, nope, maybe a bit more. Is that the one or is yeah. there another one? This one. Maybe that one. Let's adjust it a little bit. That's good. That's good. They're all the rest of them are all good. Okay. So there's got to be enough for a whole bottle cap. You got a bottle cap? So you put that in there like that, you want it to be able to just drop down. Right. So oh. just right there. Just like that. And now it's going to be... And then we want to add a little more paint here. Or, yeah. All right, and how is it for evenness everywhere? Are we going to put a measuring tape? Or I can, yeah. You can see that. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. good. 
Love how we do our stuff. Good enough. You well, know, we don't have to go right into the wood. I did. All the way through. Oh, no. I wanted, I wanted to be able to bite properly. Oh my, it'll bite. Can you, can you drill over there? Now. Okay. Have this now. This is this is about right, eh? That's where you wanted there. Yeah. How far did you come in? Hang on, let me just have a quick look here. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Uh, come in just a bit more. Put it right, like right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's move this. Move this right into it. We are very close to being done here, guys. Yeah, and in no time at all, we built up. You know what we're going to use this for, Josh? We're going to use it on our um, game show. Right? Yep. This was originally supposed to go in my house, but it's turning out too nice, and Matt wants it here. This would never go in your house. This was, it was designed. We were building this for that. Now, there you go. Now let's take your plastic off. Now this needs to go on. You figure just put it on the side like this. Well, yeah, because it, it's really going to grab then, and you're not going to, it's not going to come loose when uh, you go to, I mean, how many, you're going to be lifting a lot of beers off there, you know what I mean? Okay, well. That's fine. I mean, what do you think? I mean, well, uh, we have two of them. We can easily put two. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, well, let's add the two. Right, let's grab another one then. You grab another one. We'll need two screws for that. We got those big uh, grip right screws. Will do, will do the job. They're, no, they'll go too deep. But I got these ones here. These ones are probably pretty nice. They're the right color. No, they're not the right color. I don't, these ones won't even hardly go through the door. I don't think that. Oh yeah. They, we can put them on. Let's use them. We we'll always change them later, I guess. Well, we'll cut them. We'll just cut them off. Snap them off. Okay. Put that about. Uh, there, give or take. Good there. There you go. Okay. Are you off the edge like that? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm centered down the center of this. Okay. See that now. Now this is going to be a really nice talking piece. Is this a cut? I no, no. It's like a screed. Yeah, it might be. It's like uh, the plastic that we got that had a cut in it. Maybe it had a break point. Not really hard to see. Okay. There you go. I, I think that. it's done. You're done. So you guys saw we built that out of scratch. Right. So here's, here's, your, your, here's your here's your drill. Let's put one in each and see how it goes. So looks like we have to adjust that. Right. So this is a problem. Oh wait, where does that might be the issue? So either put another screw in here to take this down, or take these take those ones out. Might have to take those ones out. Well, those are the only ones that that snagged, right? No, nope, they're snagging every time on that. Yeah, they're on that snagging edge. every time. Well, I was right. So unless you, yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right, let's pull those ones out. Yep. But there, look at, real simple to do, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us today. I think this was a great project. Yeah. Had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and uh, 
There's Everybody a tool, should the tools, have this. The tools we used today was this, the, um, this is the Legend Square from Capro. We had the uh, Ryobi Airstrike. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I think they do. Uh, we had Metabo Drill. We had the Bosch. Um, Chameleon. We used Grip Rail right Screws. Screws. We used the uh, Bosch Bit Kit. And of course, safety equipment. We also had the... Um, this up here. We also had the uh, Cobras that we used to when it came into a jam. And there you have it, your Planko game. And we'll make that slight adjustment and that should work you out. You had to remove those couple Just screws. And Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll do another project for you here uh, coming up tomorrow. We'll see what we have. Thanks for on. joining. Take care. All right, so let's work on that right now.